I think you'd have fun if you tried this. You wouldn't, won't let me do it though. I'll let you do it. <laughs> it's very hard to do or what? Uh, it takes practice just like the hand else. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Sure it's all about on how you control and yeah, how you use your wrist and No, go ahead. Oh, it does. It does look like a wine glass. Now I can't unsee that. The nice thing about the media, once you get that acrylic on there, this airbrush sticks right to it. Just grabs. It just grabs it. Like, watch, I'll shadow this under here. Yeah, okay. Mhm. And you're using just a canvas board. Just canvas board. And you just drew it with pencil. Drew it with pencil. Do you usually do it that dark, no. or did you do it dark for I, us to be able to see I it? Draw less than yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. I, just draw I figured. Van er, points of where I want a certain shape to be that way. Yeah. You got any canvas boards here? Blank ones? No, I have just plain old canvases. You can get on paper too. Yeah, but I bet the board is better. The board has texture. But I think you could almost take a board and gesso it, prepare it, and use a regular board the same way, couldn't you? Uh, well, yeah, or canvas. Yeah, a lot of the people. The reason I like board because if I mess up, I can use an eraser on it. Yeah. And you can't with a canvas because it gives. Mm hmm. That makes sense. But I know Wayne Campbell, he doesn't always use a canvas. Sometimes he'll just prepare a board. Because he has the camera, or the uh, cabinet barn, so he ends up with backs and things that they never use. Shields. Like a template. Like a template. Or a... Um, if you want a hard line, see this is what I call soft lines. Yeah. If you want a hard line, and not get any paint within where you want a lighter color, you use your shield like this and match up the shape. And I'll show you how that works. Oh, I see you're using it for the top. Are you friends with me? Okay. I, th I thought we I were... I just posted a little a video of him. I thought we were friends. Let's see. Let's see here. I see, Ken. Did you use that to kind of draw the shape of your eye to start with so that you would... No. Nah. There are so many different shapes that I can usually match up something okay. fairly close. I see. Stenciling, it's kind of like stenciling too. These are called freehand stencils. Whoops. That's a really cool video. 
At least it gives people an idea. Yeah. If, yeah. if he goes sideways, you can see through his ears. I never seen anybody do this before. Now, your eyelid's dark, and then I want to cast a shadow over mm -hmm. the, right. the eye. So I'll just, without, without overdoing it, without using a stencil, you get a softer, more shadowy line or cast. Are you holding it back a little farther, or is it the pressure you give it? I guess this is air. I always run full of air, and the further back you pull, the more pain. The more it spreads. Yeah. And it gives it that texture. your light source is going to be kind of sort of this way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to darken all of this up by the eye. Okay. Eyelashes to give it that. Makes sense. 3D 